Summer solstice is here, longest daylight for the northern hemisphere. How did we get here? Well, let's talk about first our orbit. We're tilted at 23 and a half degrees. So as we orbit the sun at different times of the year, there's a different focal point to where the sun shines. So let's start local for today, the 20th. We will have 14 hours, 22 minutes here in Birmingham. That's the longest daylight that we have all year. From here all the way to December 21st, we see shrinking daylight hours. So you look at the big picture here, and the further north you are from a latitude standpoint, the longer the daylight, right? There's a more significant change in the direct sunlight and the fluctuation of it throughout the year, the further north you are in each atmosphere. So look at our average temperatures for the summer solstice today. 92 in Dothan, 89 in Nashville, Traverse City, parts of New England. We're in the 70s to right near 80 degrees. Doesn't that sound nice? The most sunlight taking place here today within the Arctic Circle. You have 24 hours of sunlight on the flip side at the South Pole. There is no sunlight in some cases for several weeks. So those are the extremes when you get to polar regions. So what about our temperatures? Well, I showed you the average for today, but that is not the warmest we get all year. In fact, there's a delayed response to that. The surface absorbs heat over time. That's your asphalt, the infrastructure, the surface, grass, everything else doesn't instantly heat up. It heats up quick as we get later into the year, but it takes time. The cumulative effect is usually felt in July and August, usually July 5th to roughly August 20th. And something that warm, warms even slower are the oceans. That's why our warmest sea surface temperatures occur in September. That's a byproduct of water's high specific heat. So this is the gateway to summer, but we're far from the hottest weather.